up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A9 Skills. It's the Road to Foot Champions RTG edition. And before we jump into the gameplay, because I got some chill low gameplay for you guys today, we got to make a big decision. There's four possible players that could be signing for our club to take a massive position. The position goes by the name of Bakioko. Go Tioko. I don't want to get rid of him. You guys know he's been amazing, but I feel like upgrading Bakioko is now a good time to do it. Guys, we got 26th in the world for the week. We did absolutely amazing with 38 and 2. And also, I didn't show you guys yesterday, but I also can confirm to you where we ended exactly uh, when it comes to monthly. So, 26th in the world for the weekly, and for monthlies, I believe it was like 60. Actually, I showed you guys, right? 60 second. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. So, that's where we are for monthly. So, these monthlies and these weeklies will come out on Thursday, which could determine a lot. There's Red Pogba, there's Red Namor, but we're not going to think about that stuff. We're not going to think about getting something big, because we don't know. Please, in the comments down below, I need your help. It is time for you guys to go ham. This is your series. You do this with me. It's a big conversation that's about to be had. Make sure to smash thumbs up. Can we get 10,000 likes on this bad boy? 10,000 likes. Let's get that positivity, that good vibes, because, bros, we got a big week coming up with rewards in just a day or two, man. Pretty excited. Why is Goretzka in my midfield? I hope I said his name right. Goretzka. Hopefully, Goretzka. Goretzka. Nah, it's Goretzka. I'm pretty sure it said right. Now, the reason Goretzka is in my midfield because there's a few things I want to do. I'm going to pop a few cards up down here, and these are the cards that we possibly could sign. Now, right now, I have 246,000 coins. I've been spamming Division 1, which you're going to be able to see that gameplay in a minute. I'm going to write gameplay in the background of Goretzka actually playing. Now, is this going to be the Goretzka that I want? Actually, no. Goretzka's Inform card actually goes for 260,000 coins on the Xbox. And now, Goretzka is one of our big options to take Bakioko's position. Now, one thing I do want you to remember, the only difference between um, Goretzka and all the guys I'm about to show you is that Bakioko is a medium medium, okay? Everybody that's coming in or that we could buy is going to be a high high. We play a 4-1-2-1-2 and the left CM is where Bakioko is supposed to be. That's going to be replaced with one of these guys. The first one is Inform Goretzka. I want you guys to look carefully at this guy's stats. The first thing I want you to look at is that he's 6-2, which means he is one inch taller than Bakioko. He's a high high where Bakioko is a medium medium, but he has 90 stamina which means we're not going to have to sub this guy off. He's good for the whole game. 83 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, a lot faster than Bakioko. Um, decent defending on him with 81, physical 80, good passing, decent shot, good dribbling. Is it a massive upgrade of Bakioko? When you look at the cards side by side, incredible upgrade. Better passing, better shooting, better dribbling, same defending, less physical, but he is 6'2". Now, let's stop comparing him to Bakioko because you guys know everybody looks better than Bakioko, but that doesn't mean they're better than Bakioko. Now, remember that Goretzka goes for 250k, and all we got to do is finish a Division One run, and we have him. The next option is either... 88 Hullet, I mean, uh, 88 um, Petit, or maybe even the Prime one. But I don't think after rewards will make a million coins. It doesn't look like Team of the Week's going to be that good. So maybe this one. Maybe we can achieve this one. 800,000 coins. A high, high. 6-1. The same height as Bakioko, one inch shorter than Goretzka. Now, this guy has 75 pace, slower than Goretzka. He's, um, Goretzka has the same shot, better passing, better dribbling. But Petit beats him on defending and physical. That's an option, but a very expensive option. So we're going to put him at the end as he is the most expensive. The next option is a pretty good one as well. It is going to be Inform Nigolan. Now, Nigolan goes for about 300k, almost 400k. Now, Nigolan, obviously better than Goretzka in every stat almost. Uh, actually, he is. Better physical, better dribbling. The only problem is, now, the option I wanted straight up was Nigolan. I was like, that's going to be a sick move. But then I started to kind of think about it. He's 5'9". He's 5'9", and my man Matt is 5'9". Okay, Mateus is 5'9". That's two 5'9 players in our midfield with only one tall player in Vieira who's 6'4". That's where Goretzka wins. Goretzka doesn't beat him on the stats except for the speed, but he beats him on the height. With Goretzka, we're looking at a 6'2", 6'4", or 6'3", oh, 6'4", 6'2", 5'9". The same thing as when we had Bakioko. It was 6'1", 6'4", 5'9". Two tall, one small. If we go Nigolin, it's two small, one big. Now, the last guy and the last option, also going around three, 300,000 coins, is Inform Vidal. Now, Inform Vidal, remember, all these guys 
are high highs, bros. Every single one of them are high highs. Vidal, obviously an outstanding card. 88 rated, 75 pace, but, uh, so about the same pace as Bakioko. Amazing shot, amazing passing, amazing uh, def uh, dribbling, great defending, a humongous physical on him. Obviously, uh, these two cards are very similar. Petit and Vidal, very similar. But again, a high high and 5'11". Now, Vidal's 5'11", that's pretty close to being six foot. That's not bad. Nigolin being the smallest, uh, Vidal coming in, and then Petit and, Nig and Goretzka around the same height with 6'1", 6'2". So with Nigolin and Vidal, we downgrade in height, but upgrade in stats. And with Goretzka, we upgrade in stats and height. So it's up to you guys, man. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I think I want Inform Goretzka. I know he's a high high, but they're all high highs. But um, he, he doesn't have the stats that Vidal gives us, right? He don't, we don't got that pace that Vidal gives. Vidal has some crazy stats, man. Look at those stats. Um, but we get the height. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Draft 2 Glory. 25 draft wins in 49 entries. We are going all guns blazing right now, so I can't wait for my next first round exit. You guys smashed 6,000 likes two episodes ago. You smashed 5,000 likes in the last episode. Let's try and break that 5k barrier one more time. I appreciate you guys' support. I can't wait for ones to watch to come out on Friday. It's going to be awesome for draft, hopefully packing some of them and some good packs in general. So... Um, I'm going to go for the 4-3-2-1 again. I, I want to always give myself the best opportunity to win draft. And I feel like recently we've been winning a lot of draft because we've been doing so. We've been taking the best formation that offers us the best players. I know a lot of people are enjoying the 4-4-2 right now since people like Shells made it spectacularly famous at the, um, the Barcelona event. But although the 4-3-3 isn't bad and the 4-3-1-2 is a good formation, the 4-3-2-1 gives us the best opportunity just because it allows us to get Ronaldo and Messi team of the year cards straight off the bat. Well, actually, we're not even going to go for Messi team of the year. We're going to take that 95 striker Messi. So for the first time in a long time, I'm going to purposely turn away a team of the year card because uh, we've got other opportunities. Uh, that Dybala comes up all the time and he is fantastic. How many times do we legitimately get this Dybala card in our draft? So we've got two Argentinian boys there. They will now both get seven chemistry, no matter who else we put around this team. If we can also get 99 Cristiano Ronaldo here, I'll be so happy. We can't, but we get 93 Neymar or 93 Hazard. If we take Hazard, it's got a better chance of linking to De Bruyne or Kante, both Team of the Year cards. Neymar with that 5-star, five 5-star five star is so good. And Hazard, if I remember correctly, doesn't have the greatest stamina. 86 stamina on him. 81 stamina on Neymar. Let's go with Hazard. Let's just give that stamina boost up there. So that's an insane attack to start things off with. Messi, Dybala, and Eden Hazard. I would love one or two of the team of the year midfielders. I seldom get them. We're going to take Pjanic, however. Good start to this uh, team. He obviously gets that strong link to Dybala. Four-star, four-star. Insane passing. Very strong dribbling. Not the greatest defending or physicals. Okay pace and okay long shots. Not too bad. And we're, we're really working into a pretty good team right here um could take fur fur and kessie are both very similar both very well rounded um kessie has six foot high high four star weak foot fur has six two medium low four star weak foot so it is really like which one would you prefer and i prefer <laughs> okay prefer i would prefer can i get one team of the year midfielder i never get the team of the year midfielders i always get the team of the year attackers i guess we'll go with pastore here he gets that Argentinian link, four star, four star as well. Gets a soft link into Dybala. Um, yeah, he's. I mean, he's just the best, regardless of who we take. We either take an 85 rated Argentinian or an 81 rated Argentinian. However, he's good enough to the point where if we get team of the year Danny Alves, that's good news. We don't. Could go with Serge Aurier or we could go with Hector Bellerin. Now, Serge Aurier has backbone, so he doesn't have the greatest pace. Bellerin has basic, so he gets a well-rounded boost. Uh, Danilo obviously gets uh, no links to anyone. I don't know, I'm thinking of something completely different. But yeah, Hector Bellerin is going to be our guy here. Hopefully we can get ourselves a team of the year, Sergio Ramos. No, but we go one better. We get 90 rated Rio Ferdinand. There we go. Gives good links now because Pastore and Bellerin will both get seven chemistry off the back of that Rio Ferdinand link. That is fantastic. Um, alternatively, I could put... 
Fur over there and get him on, get Bellerin on 10 chem. Let's see what we get as a next centre back. Um, choices, choices. Could go Pepe. Could go Varane. I think Varane's probably the logical choice here. I, I mean, company's not a bad choice. And he has a shadow chem style. He doesn't get the greatest pace. Like, Varane's faster than... Uh, Varane with a hunter, actually. But then company has the defensive boost that Varane won't have. So that's tricky. Medium high 6-3. I probably would prefer the pace of Varane instead of the defensive capabilities of the company. I know that this might be a bad move for chemistry. We're going to have to wait and see on that one. Um, we just do not get... I'm going to take Holivas there. Shadow card and very good. I know uh, Antunes gets a soft link in there. Hunter card though. Let's take Antunes. It looks like we're going for La Liga down the left hand side. This is an okay team to start with. It's, it like, needs a little bit of work here and there. Jose Reina doesn't work. Lopez, no. None of these guys work. We've got an English... Yeah, let's take Joe Hart. He'll get 10 chemistry. It's not a bad It's not a bad start. We need to improve that midfield a little bit. I'm just gutted that we haven't seen a single team of the year card yet. I just want to pick up some team of the years. I want to put some blues in there and feel good about myself. Okay, that's much... Oh, do we take 90 David Silva? No, he doesn't change anything. He's just better than Fur. I'm going to take that 95 Neymar. Um, Neymar's going to go up in that left mid left wing spot. Pastore is going to come over. And that puts us up to 87 chemistry. That's good. That's very good. It's very, very, very good. And then we have Eden Hazard as obviously a good backup player. Brilliant. Um... It just, it just doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. None of these guys are going into my team. We'll take whoever we want there.